All right, I've crested Bircera, or Bee's Knees as we call it, for reference. If you look down there, that little round parking lot, that's the end of Chandler, or what used to be the end, now they've continued it. Anyway, you come out and park in that parking lot, trailhead takes off from there, go up and climb the mountain right in front of you. When you get up to the top, I'm not sure if technically this is where this segment starts, but it's kind of peeking down, so I'm gonna start from here. See how it goes. <clears throat> this is definitely a good climb, good exercise, good training. So if you're training for anything, whether it's XC or Enduro, this is a good one to practice going up. So I haven't been up here in a while, so I'm not really gonna try to kill myself. I just want to check it out. Yeah, I haven't been up here in a couple of years, but I remember this trail was really a lot of fun. A little bit loose, definitely be on your game. A lot of off-camera stuff. Seems like they've done some work up here though, so looks like most of the really sketchy stuff is gone. A lot of fun floaty little hoppers. Yeah, just how I remember this one. Really, really worth the climb. Yeah, starts out with some really tough switchbacks. Really sharp, loose. This is where the plus tires come in handy. A lot of grip. stuff sneaks up on you when you're not ready for it. So you got a little pedaling at the bottom here, which is why it's a good enduro practice stage. You've almost always got some pedaling most of the enduro stages, at least that I've done. A lot of loose, big rocks. You get to picking up some speed and then all of a sudden there's a really sharp off camera that you weren't expecting. This one definitely keeps you on your toes. out there just when you think you're opening it up get one of those nice little tight ones
A little straight line action. Kind of a silly turn there. So when you come up to this wash, you want to make sure and gear down. There's a punchy climb on the other side. And the segment doesn't stop until you get up here. So you definitely, if you're running for time, you don't want to mess that up. And that is it. I would call that the bee's knees descent on the backside, but I'll look at my uh, Strava feed. And when I post this, put the proper name on it so you can find it. Have fun and ride safe.